Okay, in the last two videos, what I was doing is I was looking at how to create some uh, graphics for categorical data. Sorry, never mind that. So I created a pie chart for pets. Earlier on, I looked at a uh, bar chart for pets, and we were looking at types of pets. Okay, now what I've done since is I've updated the data. So previously, I had about 15 cases of pets. What I've done here is I've gone to the pet data, let's close that down, and what I've done here is added in a few more cases. Okay. Now what I'm going to do in this situation is just to sort of just to sort of complement the um the uh, the two charts we've created. What I'm going to do is a little frequency table and in S in Minitab what we do is we call that a tally. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go to stat and I'm going to go down to tables okay and I'm going to sort of uh, do a little tally of individual variables so tally essentially means to count so tally individual variables I'm going to click on that okay now I'm particularly interested in let's just see I'm interested in the types so I'm going to select that but I'm also interested in the pet ages of the pets. Okay, so I'm going to select that and sort of see what we have there. Now, um, I'm interested in the counts and also the percentages, the cumulative percentages and so on. Now I could store results, but I'll just sort of come back to that later on. Now I'm interested in the type of the pet and the age of the pet. So I'm going to click OK there. I'm just going to see what all of, the, all of these displays mean. Click OK on that. There we go. Now, so this pops up in my session window. OK. So first off, I have on the f one side, I have the type. So I seemingly have, now this is the updated data set, OK, where there's 22 cases. See down here we have n is equal to 22. Okay, that means that the total number of items in the data set is 22. Now I've updated the data set since, since the last time, so there seems to be a few more ponies and one extra hen, seemingly. So anyway, I have eight uh, cats, six dogs, one hamster, three hens, and four ponies. Okay, and so that corresponds to 36.36, 37.27, and so on. Okay, uh, in percentages. Now there's cumulative percentage as well. That means we have eight cats. Nothing interesting there. Um, cumulative percentage means that we have cats and dogs. So 14 cats and dogs. 15 means 14 cats, dogs, and hamsters. And so on. Okay. We have something similar over here. Now I've just done it for both variables, but I think one is just sort of just a replicate of the other. We have four three-year-old animals. We have three four-year-old animals. We have uh, f two five-year-old animals and so on. And again, we've got the percentages and so on. So this is actually cumulative percentages is slightly a bit more interesting when something like this would age. What this tells me here is that um, 63.64% of our animals is younger than, as 10 or younger, okay? Or we could actually just change that around and say 59.09% uh, of our animals is younger than 10 years, okay? So just remember, are you including 10 or not? Okay, so that's where cumulative percentage will come in handy over there. Now, let's just sort of see if, I think actually I sort of hit every, I hit all the marks I want to sort of say. So can we sort of export that? So let's go back here and see if can we export that as a little table. Okay. Store results. Okay. And uh, where do I do that now? I'm just going to pause, just check on my book. No, so anyway, so what do I do here? I go to, I'm just going to sort of bring that into shot. So I'm just going to move this down a bit. I right click and just say send section to Word. Click on that. Okay, so what might happen actually, what might be better is to do each tally 
one at a time. Just do the type first, the pet type first, and then do the age type separately. So just sort of make sure they're both right, because the way I've done it there, sort of added them or sort of had them side by side, which is probably not great really, because if you copy and paste them out, you copy and paste the whole lot. Probably best do it one by one. Okay.